morning. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maggie. I'm going to be doing a get ready with me today. I got my coffee. It is eight o'clock in the morning. I'm getting ready for a work day. I work from home, but I do like to do a little bit of makeup just to kind of feel a little bit more polished. And of course, I'm project pan motivated. So I like to see progress on my makeup products. So we're going to sip on the coffee, chat, get ready. I feel like it's been a minute since I filmed. I um, was out of town last week for work, so the videos you saw were kind of pre-filmed. So um, it feels like it's been a minute since I've actually like sat down and filmed. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna be yeah just kind of digging through my makeup basket here, um, kind of an everyday look, I guess you could say, um, and hopefully get some good usage on my Project Pan items. So. Yes. Hi. How are you? Um, I'll start right there with my work trip last week. So I um, work for a small company and we are mostly all remote. There is an office location in Portland, Oregon that, you know, the local folks can use. But for me, I live in Minnesota, so um, I just work from home every day and I love it. It's a good match for me. But um, last week we were all um, able to get together in Portland, pretty much the whole company, and, you know, spend some time together. And it was really nice. I will say I'm an introvert at heart. Like, for me to feel refreshed and recharged, I need downtime. I need alone time. I need just kind of to be <laughs> in my own space a little bit. So going from 100% work from home to 100% in person all day, like 12 hour days, was a little bit of a jump, I won't lie. I feel like I'm still kind of recovering from it, um, energy-wise, not that like anything bad happened. But yeah, energy-wise, it it wiped me out. Um, so it was good though, I got to see some coworkers. I'm gonna work in my Soft Glam 2 palette, probably use this as my mirror for most of today. This is my Pan Matte palette, so I'll be doing an update soon and I kind of have a um, two different looks I do with this palette either more of like a golden kind of um, brown look and then more of like a rosy look because this is my companion palette the um, mini retro from Natasha Denona so because I'm wearing this kind of burgundy purple shirt I'm gonna go more like pinky with my look today but anyway um, yeah the, the work trip was good it was long um, that's for sure and, um, yeah, I mean, I feel like part of it is, you know, it's good to see everybody, but it's also good to remember, like, the people I message and the people I see on, like, video calls and all of that all day are actual people, and they are taller than I think, or they have longer hair than I think, and, you know, you kind of get to see the full picture, so I think that's always good as a reminder and brings a little bit more... Um, empathy to the table perhaps when you're you're kind of going back and forth with different interests with somebody else so I think it was good um the only kind of downside for me I work with our customers so <clears throat> because I was in 12 hour days on the west coast I had to cancel all my customer stuff so I feel a little behind but it'll be fine um but yeah, it was good. I was able to, um, yeah, connect with some people. We have some like new people too that it was nice to meet, I guess, for the first time. I've been with my company for a couple of years now, so it's nice that I'm past the like new person and like meeting everybody stage. And now when I go to things like this or I see, you know, my coworkers in real life, like we already have um, a relationship kind of started. And I don't have to start with the small talk from, you know, the first first day intro kind of thing. So yeah, it was good. Um, I was recognized for some work that I did last year, which felt really good. Um, I wasn't expecting that. So, you know, it always makes you feel good when people recognize what you're doing. Um, I am going into kind of a crazy uncharted territory at work right now. Um, my department... Um, there's three of us, three women, including myself, so me plus two others, and the two others are both officially on parental leave. Um, the one went into labor and had her baby earlier in January, and then the second one wasn't due, um, 
until February, but uh, her baby came early. So that also happened while I was out on that work trip. So um, I'm officially the solo department member for the time being. Um, obviously, it's like a mixed emotions because I'm so happy for them and so proud of them. It's their first child for both of them. So it's been really fun to like watch them go through that experience. Um, I also am like kind of sad and grieving a little bit because my, my besties are gone. <laughs> um, and so I do have a couple of other friends that have, you know, told me, you know, you just tell me and we can, we can get coffee or we can vent or, you know, whatever you need, which is really nice. Cause I think, I think it's important wherever you work that you have someone you can confide in and someone that's safe to just vent to and like get things off your chest without needing to like make something a big deal like something sometimes things just like irritate you and then after you get it out of your system you feel better so can't really do that with my manager um so yeah it's it's just kind of new territory for me so we'll see how this goes um I think it'll be okay but honestly it's like one day at a time <laughs> the other thing I will say and I'll try to put a photo in or two is when we were there we went to the um, see the Oregon Museum of Science, and I believe it's in Innovation, something like that. And they had a submarine, a decommissioned U.S. Naval submarine that you could tour. And it was so, so cool. So I'll, I'll put a couple of pictures in there. There was like the torpedo room. There was, I mean, you got to look through the scope and everything. And it's crazy how clear those scopes are. I mean, high def for sure. Um, and yeah, it was just a very, I don't know. I've never been in a submarine before, um, obviously, cause I'm not a part of the Navy and it was so interesting just to see like all of the equipment they had and just the tight, you know, quarters everybody has to live in. I mean, I'm five feet, I'm short, so I can navigate through this boat pretty well. And even I felt like, wow, this is pretty tight. So I can only imagine what it feels like to be in like a submarine like that when you're six feet or whatever. So yeah, that was pretty cool. I'm really glad when my coworkers and I went down there to tour it um, because what a really, really cool experience that was. So I can officially say I've been in a submarine <laughs> and um, yeah, I mean, very, very interesting. So anyway, that's work. Things are fine. Um, one day at a time. My schedule is like super busy, but one day at a time. We're going to get through it just fine. And, um, you know, I think from my perspective anyway, I'm hoping that there can be some process changes or, you know, I'm included in a lot of internal meetings that honestly, like I could just take the notes from, like, I don't really contribute too much to. So I'm hoping that because my time is so um, kind of short and my availability is not what it used to be, hopefully I can be weeded out of some meetings and then others can just share, you know, what, what I might need to know. But <clears throat> anyway, enough about work. Let's, let's move along. Um, in my personal life, my wedding dress just came in. So I'll be going down to the city um, Probably in a couple of days, I have to figure out with my work calendar what day makes the most sense to go down, but go down and pick it up. And then at the end of the month, I have my first fitting. So I'm really, really excited for that. And um, the dress I picked out, I'm absolutely in love with. It is so beautiful. Um, I'm going to add a couple of things to it. So it's currently a strapless um, dress. And I'm going to add off the shoulder like straps. I just think that they are really pretty. Um, and when I was trying the dress on in the um, bridal store, they were able to kind of like drape some fabric so I could see what that looked like. And I really loved how that looked. So that's what I'm going to add to it. Um, it also, it's a little puffier, like it's more of like a ball gown kind of silhouette and I prefer to be like less puffy, more like a line. So I'll have some of the, like tool and stuff underneath removed. I just don't want that much volume in it. It also doesn't, that wouldn't really fit our space that well. Um, and then, you know, like the normal stuff, adding a bustle, 
I think him to, you know, be my height and just kind of normal stuff like that. So I'm really excited um, to get that and start that journey of having it like really come to life and fit me um, instead of just how it's made, you know? So that'll be really fun. Um, and then I'm also, man, I'm going to be down in the city a lot. Um, if you're new here, I live in Northern Minnesota and I talk about the city, it's the Minneapolis, St. Paul, Twin Cities. And then everywhere else we like shorten to cities and then it gets shortened to city. <laughs> so I'm talking about Minneapolis. Um, but yeah, I'll have to go down twice this month, probably like one or two times in March, probably one or two times in April and May. We're getting married in June. I don't think I've shared that yet. Um, we're getting married in June. So um, really the first half of this year, we'll all be back and forth quite a bit. So um, that's okay though. I mean, it's, it's all good things and I'm really lucky that, um, we have a second home in Minneapolis area. We have a town home that, you know, I own so we can be there whenever we want and come in and out and like <clears throat> just have stuff at. That's one thing. I have a few toiletries that I just keep there, but I think when I go down next, I'm just going to bring like an extra toothbrush, extra toothpaste, face wash, just like basic stuff that I can just leave there because I'm going to be back and forth so often that it's just like one last thing I have to pack then. Um, I already have like sweats and a few extra change of clothes that I keep there, but I think I might just add a few more toiletries so I don't have to keep, you know, packing everything. Um, all right. I have two highlighters that I'm working on in my project pan, both uh, super shock. So when I do kind of more of a purpley look, I like to use monster it's kind of got more of a purple reflect. So we'll get this on. Um, what else can I say? I had a list of things to talk about. Let's see what else is on my list. Oh, yes. So um, the other thing I've been busy doing at home is kind of restocking um, not my beauty products. I've got plenty in that department. But restocking our home Um so things like toilet paper, paper towels. I also personally like to keep a kind of a stash of over-the-counter meds. Um, so I went through everything that we have open and I like to have a few things like duplicates of um, backups, you know, like cold and flu medicine, cough drops, like all that stuff. Um, I'd like to keep a stash of that at home for a couple of reasons. One, because when you're sick, uh, the last thing I want to do is go out and go get that stuff. Like, I just want to go to bed. <laughs> Thankfully, we've been pretty healthy. Um, I was really worried with the travel I was going to get sick because I don't travel like I used to. But I stayed on top of it and um, didn't didn't come down with anything. So that's great. But, um, yeah, I like to keep that kind of stuff uh, stocked up for, yeah, if you're sick. Like, oh, I don't want to go get it then. I just want to stay home. Anyway, so we've just been kind of stocking things. I did a, a Target order, got a few things off of Amazon. So we should be all set. And, you know, I got, like, more Kleenex. I got the Kleenex I like. I like the ones with lotion in it because when I get a runny nose, I mean, I can go through a whole box of Kleenex in a week easy. And my nose gets so chapped. So I, I really think it's worth having the fancier kind with the lotion. It's just much softer of a fabric. So I got more of that. I also went through our first aid kit. Um, we have a first aid kit at home. And then we also have like a little mini first aid kit in our cars. And then we also have a boat. Um, and the boat's in storage because it's winter. But I do have a first aid kit there. And so I went through that and restocked it. Um, and I also got some other things for specifically the boat and the cars. Um, I got some bleed stop and some like quick clot things that if there was a big injury, with a lot of blood, we could manage it. So anyway, just kind of doing things like that. And I felt like, okay, now I'm ready for the year. And I don't have to think about those things because I got plenty. And um, it's, it is a privilege financially to be able to just stock up and do that. Uh, but I will say, I think it makes all the difference in the world when those things happen. And I wouldn't even call it like an emergency. Getting sick with a cold isn't an emergency. But, um, you know, just having it and the convenience of it. The other thing is my fiance travels for work every week. 
And um, I got them a little pill box of like normal over-the-counter stuff. So like Tylenol and Tums and Pepto. And um, he also has like Mucinex and what else does he have in there? Melatonin, just, just the little things that he normally uses. So I do like to keep that always stocked too because he's on the go and not home. But when I traveled for work, I always appreciated having the brands and the types of over-the-counter meds that I'm used to using and I'm comfortable using and I know, you know, what side effects to expect or whatever. So it's been good to have them. And it's also way cheaper than buying something every time you need it on the road because those little sizes at the airport or gas stations are so expensive. Okay. Anyway, sorry that derailed. It turned almost like a little emergency preparedness, but I think it's important. Um, that is it for my face, my makeup today. I did a little bit more than I do day to day, but one thing I have had questions on that I thought I'd share with you is how I keep track of my usage. So I have an app in here called Counter. It's this, this green one. And in here you can create different sections and colors and stuff of what you're tracking. So today, um, my purple is my project pan. I've got yellow is my um, pan matte palette and stuff. So I just go through here and you just tap to update the number. So like I used my single shadow, it currently has seven uses. Now it has eight. And so I just go through and tap on what I use. I try to do it right after I do my makeup because otherwise I will forget. Um, but yeah, it's super easy that way to just go through and update what we used. Yeah, done. So uh, thank you for listening to me ramble. <laughs> I feel like today kind of spun out of uh, control in what I was talking about, but that's okay. That's kind of, it's kind of nice to not have a fully like scripted notes what I want to talk about. So I hope you are doing well. Um, I know January can sometimes feel like it takes forever to get through, but we are almost to February. Um, and yeah, I'm just feeling optimistic for the spring to come soon, hopefully. So um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.